This is going to be a short tutorial on how I use Adobe Illustrator to create cutout files for my Xtool D1 laser. So please hit like and subscribe and I'll continue to make these videos. Thank you. Hey. The first thing we're going to do is go into Adobe Illustrator and create a new file. Make sure that your color mode is set to RGB color. This is very important for the laser cutter. And then hit create. And the first thing we're going to do is go grab our rectangle tool and we're going to create a boundary for our text. Make sure that your boundaries on top and bottom um, are lined up with each other. And then especially make sure that your boundaries on the left and right intersect with the top and bottom boundaries. Okay, now that we have our boundary marks, uh, the next thing we're going to do is go and grab our text tool. So select the font that you want to use. I'm going to be using a fatter block style text. And let's drop our word in. All right, next thing we're going to do is we need to resize this text um, to make it fit within our boundary marks. You can make this text as big as uh, you want, but uh, you did want to make sure that you're not distorting the text too much once we stretch it. So place your text and then the next thing we're going to want to do is go grab your selection tool, make sure that the text itself is selected, go up here to type and click on create outlines. Now what we've done is each one of these individual letters is its own shape. Go over here to your appearance panel and remove that black fill, go to stroke and select black and then you can leave your stroke at one point. Now you can see that our text is no longer filled and we have this nice black outline around each letter. Okay, uh, while everything is still selected, uh, we wanna go out here and grab this anchor point and drag this text just beyond the inner top boundary and go just beyond it, just like that. And next, come down here to the lower part of the text and grab that and go to the lower inner boundary and go just beyond it. The reason for that, these letters that are rounded, uh, if you're using a text similar, you want as much wood to be joined here as possible. So if this were going to be a little bit higher, you can see it's gonna cut out more of the wood and you're not gonna have as much uh, wood joined with the boundary line of your cutout and that could make it more fragile, easy to bust out, whatever. So I always drag it just a little bit beyond the boundary points so that we have more wood contact uh, with the top and bottom. And then you can see I left a blank space at the beginning and the end of the word, and that's to create um, you know, a negative space at the beginning and end so you can clearly see what the word is, especially if it's something like an N or a flat letter. Uh, on the side and you would want some kind of space here or this is just going to blend in with the actual piece that you're cutting into. All right, the next thing we wanna do is go to select and all again, make sure that everything on your artboard is selected and then we're gonna go over and grab our shape builder tool. So when I hover over any of these individual shapes, you can see that it's gonna highlight this in gray. So we wanna merge all of these outer boundaries together first. So click inside of here, drag it up. Now you can see that this is joined together. We want to click in here and grab this down. Now we've joined that side. And then finally, join the side and the bottom together. And now we have one constant border around our text. Now, in order to do an actual cutout of a word um, with a laser, you want to leave just the negative spaces behind. So that leaves the actual letters left in the wood. So we're going to take this boundary, click inside it again, and merge it with all of these individual letters. So at the top and the bottom, just click in the boundary, drag it into the letter, and do that at the top and bottom of each one of these until all of the letters have joined the outer boundary, okay? Now, the next thing we wanna do to just have the negative spaces left is get rid of this outermost boundary line all the way around. So in order to do that, go over here, click on your selection tool again, go to the path, hit plus on your keyboard, drop an anchor point, then hit A on your keyboard, click it, and hit backspace. That gets rid of this outer border. Uh, then you can just go to each one of these anchor points, click on it, and hit backspace, and that will remove that. 
and then it's always going to leave this last anchor point from that last line so make sure you click on him and delete him as well so now we just have all of our negative space cutouts left and we want to export this in an SVG file. So go back up here to select and select all. And then we want to go to the path, right click on it and hit export selection. Um, when you get to this export screen, uh, you wanna first name your file. And then go over here, make sure that your export location is set you can create a subfolder if you want. So if you click on this box, it's going to take it to your destination, but it's going to create a subfolder at your destination called SVG. Um, and then finally, make sure that your format is set to SVG. Don't select any of these other ones as they won't work with the laser cutter. So you need this to be an SVG format. And then finally, hit export asset. And now we can jump over to our Xtool D1 uh, laser box basic software go to import select uh, the, the SVG file that we just created and now you can see that our cutout is inside of our laser box um, while it's still selected go up here and hit cut now these are all made into cut lines and it's only going to cut out the negative spaces so it's going to cut out this piece it's going to cut out this piece it's going to cut out these inside of this a between the a and the n within the n and at the end so what you're going to be left with are the actual letters in your wood um, make sure you select your proper material type power settings speed and number of passes and then if you're going to resize text i recommend clicking on this lock button so that when you resize it, um, both axes are moving in unison together. You're not distorting your text. If you don't have this clicked, when you move it, you can squish the text, you can stretch the text, but you may distort it to the point where it doesn't look recognizable. So try and keep this um, lock clicked over here and it will help with the constraints of your text. All right, and once you've got all of your cutouts finished on your laser, you're going to end up with something uh, that looks like this. So this was a garden stake and it was about 0.75 inches wide and about six inches long. This area here was about 85 millimeters and the height of the text was about 14.5 millimeters. So overall, uh, this turned out really well and you can do this Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll continue to make these videos and hopefully we can all learn a little bit more together.